Hey there, Capricorn. Hope you guys this weekend has been good to you guys. Appreciate you guys as always. Let's find out what the cards are saying. What's coming out for you guys is highest good at this time. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn. What are we talking about today, please? Capricorn. Okay, we got something here about a marriage, a union, what kind of finances. Well, somebody's been hooking up. So somebody's been out doing like one night stands and hooking up and while the other one's been working on their, their money matters and just calling in a better person for yourself. Like you want somebody that you can have union with, like you want a solid firm commitment with someone and there's just been an energy that has like, there's something that you two have had a falling out and like there's, this person's been sleeping around trying to like fill the void of you and it's not working. And you're calling in a soul connection here for yourself, whether you realize that or not. So again, what I was, what I'm getting up is that what I'm getting up, that didn't sound right. Just go with it. Um, you took your time and energy and invested it into yourself to be on the come up. Like while this other person has been running around just doing the same thing. Now you're getting ready to move forward on your journey and lining up with a better uh, connection here. What's overall, what's overall energy here for uh, Capricorn? Peace. You are a being of love. You release all negative energy. You've made peace with this past person I'm picking up on like you you're just at peace like you this past person has no um no importance in your life anymore like you're just over it you're just wanting new for yourself yes you've had a rebirth learning to let things in in order to have new things begin like you're definitely in this energy of rebirth like going through your transformation doing that dark night of the soul so you realize that you had to remove a past situation to be able to line up with something better for yourself and that's what you're doing and a lot of you guys just showed up for yourself and now you're attracting love towards you if that's what you want here capricorn let me get one it's time to step out of the confusion. So a lot of you guys have just been stepping out of this confusion. So it's you really stepped out of like, there was just a lot of like things that just didn't, this past person did everything they could. I'm getting confused just trying to read this. This past person did everything they could to try to confuse you and make you think that you guys were going to have this solid, wonderful connection, but this person like, they did a number on you. Let me get another one. You've stepped out of confusion about yourself. Like there's something about your rebirth energy too, where things might just feel a little confused and um, chaotic for you, but you're going to continue getting out of that confusion as you continue going into your transformation. So just always trust that process because <laughs> don't I know that things can get very confusing. Like you don't know what the hell's going on, but just, just trust yourself. Let me get another one comprehend somebody didn't want you to comprehend something somebody did not want you to see what they were doing behind the scenes and boy you saw it and then now this person's been going around saying that you weren't all that or you think you're all that so this person that's sleeping around they think obviously that they're all that because that's why they sleep around that's why they do what they do so this person had to really tarnish your name and make it seem like you I don't know, like you were challenging to deal with, like you, like this past person is like trying to like come up with excuses for why they did what they did to you, but it's, it's just excuses. Capricorn. Thank you. Power of the spoken word. I always speak about what I would like to create in my life. Thus I draw it towards me. So there's something here about your words that are very powerful. You've definitely been calling in a lot of changes for yourself when it comes to your finances and the love department here. So this is really focusing on um, speaking things into existence that only you want to have in your life. Like, So just make sure that you're, there's something about your wording and just the way that you are able to speak things into existence for yourself. So just make sure that you're really only emphasizing on things that you really want to call into your 3D reality. Let me get another one. Thank you. And then clearing away the negativity. As I focus on positive, the negative energy gradually dissipates. And that's what you're doing here. Clearing away all the negative energy here. 
So when we're, like I said earlier with this confusion card, when we're clearing away a lot of negative things that are no longer lining up with who we are, things will be confusing. So just, who I'm getting chills. So just continue to just transmute that energy and release anything negative. Um, and there's something about your word speaking too, I keep getting. Make sure that you're not speaking those negative things into existence here. So this past person is definitely part of your negativity that you've been clearing away. And you want loyalty. This is what you're calling in. You learned how to be loyal to yourself. Something about your supportive, nurturing energy that somebody's missing here. You, you're you definitely this type of person where even when things get tough, like you always show up for people. And that's what you want in a person. You want someone that's going to show up for you like you do others. So a lot of you guys had to learn to stay loyal to yourself. Raise your frequency and attract that same person towards you. And that's what you guys are doing here. One needs to be surrendered for Capricorn, please. Surrendering comparisons with other people. Keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own thoughts. Attractiveness. Attractiveness. If that doesn't sound like I'm saying it right. And power. So this is no longer comparing yourself to other people, especially if you were dealing with somebody that's just sleeping around with anybody. You're going to be comparing yourself to those people. I don't care how attractive you are. People get cheated on. It doesn't matter about your looks, your status. Like if somebody is going to do what they're going to do, you can't stop them. They they have to want to change their ways here. So this is no longer comparing yourself to, to a past person and the people that they wanted to like mess around with you behind their back. You are unique and one of a kind. Don't let anybody try to make you feel some type of way about yourself. So this is about keeping your eyes trained on yourself. That's that warrior spirit. You've been through some things. So this is like continuing to show up for yourself, love yourself, and just know that there is no one else in this world like you. So, And then surrendering to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the vine. Let spirit work its magic for you. And that's what you guys have been doing. Making peace, putting your, your manifestations out there, speaking those things into existence for yourself, and then learning not to hold on to the outcome. Learning just to be at peace where, you are, where you're at right now with your life. And just letting those manifestations come in for you. Like I'm picking up on your wanting finances and love. So just let that let that come into you right when it's meant to. So there's something here about your rebirth too. Just surrendering to spirit. And just trusting the process. And just trusting your, your healing work. Your shadow work. Trusting all of that. And just releasing all that negativity out of your vessel. And then this is what you're doing, tapping into the magic of who you are. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and a worth that comes from just being you. And you do. You are unique and one of a kind. This is about really tapping into your true potential. You've been through a lot of confusion and a lot of darkness that has tried to stop you from stepping into this, this um, your true potential with this, this magic abilities that you have. Your words are very powerful. I keep getting that. There's something about your wording that is very powerful. So it's just very important to only speak about the good things. Because if you put out that negative, you will attract that towards you as well. I'll tell you about this marriage, wedding. You could have been married to this past person. You want somebody that's going to have your back. Like you you want that solid foundation. I'll tell you about wedding. The star. So this is... Really doing a lot of inner healing work, a lot of purging from this connection that you thought was going to be your your happy, happy, happy ever after. And it turned out to be a nightmare. So, and a lot of you guys have a wish fulfillment and a partner coming towards you. So you have been calling in your right person and they're coming towards you. Some of you guys, it could be an Aquarius or they just have strong Aquarius placements in their moon rising, Venus or North, or, blah, or North Node even. Tell me about wedding. There's a union coming in. There was definitely some guarded energy. There still could be some guarded energy that's around you. So your past person loved to play the victim, clearly. So it's like this past person is going to try to make you feel bad because you are lining up with something better for yourself. And there's definitely something here about learning to lower that guarded energy down and allow this new connection to, to come into your life. Because you guys have been calling love towards you. Whether you realize this or not. It's it's definitely coming. And you guys have been in this independent energy. Self-sufficient. Working on those finances. Working on your growth. 
you're glowing because you've been focusing on yourself, loving on yourself, and you're you now look good. You're ever you're feeling good and you're attracting that energy towards you because you are in that energy. So you've got a um you've got somebody wanting to come towards you in the love department here that has got their stuff together. They're single, they're available. You have definitely been calling in somebody for yourself here. You have been calling in this this forever person. So there's something about the truth and the clarity coming out. Somebody wants to speak their truth. So you could have more than one person interested in you at this time. Options. But one of these person coming towards you is a wish fulfillment of yours. And again, you're attracting this, this energy towards you because you've been learning to pour into yourself. You've been learning to love yourself. So you're you're drawing that towards you. So keep that in mind. That's why it's so important to watch our thoughts and watch what we're saying about ourselves. Tell me about these finances. So you could have had some kind of financial um, blocks when you were with this past person. You clearly have been working on your finances. This past person, they aren't doing good financially. Tell me about finances. Ace of Cups. So... Your past person went and ran to something else thinking that they were going to gain something out of this, this other connection that they were dealing with. And you've got a bunch, a bunch, that didn't sound right. You've got um, so much happiness coming towards you when it comes to your finances here. Like there could be like new offers with your career path here. There's something here about you really trusting your career path and what you're, you're drawn to do when it to, when it comes to your financial department, there's something here about you're really going to be hit getting some offers that are going to really pour into you and make you feel happy. And there's something here where I want to tell you, just make sure that you're, if if you can, like try to find something that really makes you happy, that, that fills your passion when it comes to like your career path here. So somebody here is now sad and upset. And there's definitely this this new love that keeps coming through. Like this is part of your success as well as this this new connection I'm picking up on. So your past person is upset. They're having money issues while you're on the come up. And now this person is like kicking themselves, realizing that they lost they lost out on a good one. Definitely staying committed to your career path. Definitely in this very determined energy where you're creating a foundation for yourself. And I keep getting like this, this put together person is coming towards you and they are part of your, your, like your success and your past person really like to make it seem like they had more than what they did. They, they care too much what people think about them and they try to impress everybody that comes across their path. And they definitely like to hide behind materialistic things your past person does. And there's offers when it comes to like finances. A lot of you guys had to start from the ground up when it comes to your, your financial path here. But there's like, there's offers that I keep getting here with your finances here. So there's just, there's something here that's really going to make you happy when it comes to your finance department. I keep getting that. There's something here about an offer coming towards you. Like, and I keep getting this new person as part of your, your finances too. Your past person's money could be getting depleted from children. There's something about child support with this past person. Ten of Pentacles. This is you creating this Ten of Pentacles on your own here. So, and there's part of this person that's meant to, to come on your path with you. That's supposed to be adding to your success here. There's, there's, there's a partnership when it comes to finances. There's a partnership when it comes to love here. So you've definitely been planting seeds when it comes to your finances. You have definitely been investing in yourself and investing in things that will also help make your money on the come up here. You are definitely creating a solid, firm foundation for yourself. You could be getting a new house, changing locations here. There's something about a house. So there's something about your finances that is really going to like level you up to where you can end up in a dream house here. All right. There is something here about a lot of solid, like a lot of solid work that you've been really laying a lot of groundwork down when it comes towards like the solid foundation that you are creating. And there's just, 
this person that I keep, this new person I keep picking up on is part of this, this foundation. Like this, this new person has the same outlook on relationships as you do. And they've got their stuff together too. Talk about this hooking up. Hooking up. Page of Wands. This is somebody that is just. Someone that is just operating out of their ego still. This is somebody that is just sliding in people's DMs and texting people and just all over the place sleeping with people your past person is. And if you have more than one person interested in you, make sure that there's just not somebody that wants to hook up with you. I mean, if that's what you want to do, that's your business. But for the ones who have more than one option, you've got people wanting to come towards you. And a lot of them just want a one night stand with you. They just want to hook up. Tell me more. Somebody's past person has got someone pregnant here. There's like a, a child being conceived or this could have happened already. So your past person has been running around trying to make it seem like they ain't been doing what they've been doing. But oh, have they? It's all being exposed. It's all coming out. Like your past person's karma is that people are catching on to what this person's doing. Like everybody's starting to catch on that this person is jumping from bed to bed. So, and I keep getting for the ones that have more than one person interested in you, just make sure that you're seeing the people for who they are. Cause you definitely got some very lustful eyes wanting to approach you at this time. So just make sure when something is illuminated, make sure that you're seeing it for what it is. This past person doesn't like being exposed for, for what they were doing here. Oh, well do better. So this past person tries to make it seem like they're trying to like, Keep all the, the secrets hidden and it's all coming out. There's something about your intuition where you can just pick up and just sense when somebody's doing something behind your back. You're very gifted. So your past person likes attention. They, they like to, it's something about your past person that they feel, they feel validated when people show them attention and like when they get, I don't know, when they just get that attention off of somebody in the bedroom, it makes them feel like, is it superior or inferior? I don't know. Put the right word there. But it makes them feel like, like they're on top of the world, basically. There's definitely some eyes that are watching you that wants attention from you. So there's something here about making better choices when it comes to the love department. And then your past person has always got somebody on backup. Like they've got backup. B, plan. That did not sound right. They... Let me try this again. Backup plans where they've got like an option A, B, C. Like, well, I'm getting confused during this reading. So, because somebody really tried to work hard to try to confuse you and make you think that that's what wasn't what's going on, but it was. So your past person's always got an, a back burner option waiting in case the other options that they're dealing with falls apart. They tried to run game on you this whole time and now you're seeing things with the moon here. This is somebody that's now being exposed for what they were doing. The lies, the deception. Whew. This is somebody that likes to play games. They like to use the silent treatment to gain control. And they're, man, they like to manipulate. And this person's pissed off because you're, <laughs> look at the image. So this person's been running around just trying to like fill their need with that lusting energy. And they're never satisfied. And they're not going to be because they're, they're never, they're not happy. They're not, they're not happy with themselves or with the people that they're coming across. But it's like a very superficial, shallow energy that your ex has. And this one's mad because you stay committed to yourself. You stay committed to your, your, your um, enlightenment path, your growth and your finances. So now this one's pissed off because you're over here minding your business, creating a, a solid life for yourself. And now they're mad because they knew that you were the marriage material the whole time. That they fumbled a, a gem by trying to hook up with these low vibing energies here. Tell about the soulmate for Capricorn. So this is something that's been slowly coming towards you. This could be somebody you have a past life with. This is some kind of soul contract that you have with this new person. This is like two people that are like spiritually... Something about you and this new person that have some kind of spiritual tie with each other here. Like you both are like 
it's like synced up with each other. So your past person thought they was going to like keep you stuck and they thought they had you where they wanted you, but you've been doing your healing work while they've been running around playing games and they're still doing it. This new energy coming towards you, it's been taking, it's been taking time for it to uh, manifest in your current reality, but there's a reason for that. So this new energy is coming towards you. There was like a, some kind of balancing that needed to be restored with you and this new person in order for them to come towards you. So this is someone that is now wanting to come towards you and open up a line of communication and wanting to express how they feel towards you. So your past person very well is trying to, to come back and send some kind of like flirty message to you. Because they know that you're lining up with something better for yourself. So those past energies, it be like that. That They do that to us. So this is someone that wants to have a conversation with you. This is this new energy wants to, to build and like work with you. They want to like help. They want to like, it's like they want to help you create something. Like you're already creating something solid for yourself. But they're trying to like add more to your value. And I feel like you're going to do that to them has well and there's your justice this new energy coming towards you this is all that balancing that needed to happen in both you and this new person's life and now the balance is being restored and this is your your justice with this new energy coming towards you there was definitely um a crossroads energy when it comes to this new connection so this new energy has been observing you so this is somebody that is like, could be like researching what this connection means, why they feel this way about you, but they are definitely, um, gaining information about you and they, they've been observing you for a while and they're ready to come towards you. Like this is somebody that's been watching you go through some things like this is some, and this new person's been, there's something about this new person's where they've been going through some kind of rebirth and transformation energy as well. That's why this new connection wasn't able to take off right away because there was more growing that you and this person needed to go through. Now you do got this past person that's all up in your business. They're watching and observing too. So this past person is trying to figure out, still trying to figure out how to, to get back into your energy again. So I would keep your boundaries up with this past person, especially with this new energy trying to, to come into your life. I've got air, Aquarius, fire, water, water, earth, earth, fire, air, Leo, earth, earth, and water. So you've got a soul mate connection coming towards you. So this new energy is definitely tired of hiding how they're feeling about you. They're ready to, to open up. This past person thought they were going to be able to keep this mask on until they ran into you and you're exposing the mask wearer. This past person is trying to figure out how to reconcile still they're trying to get a reunion with you and it, for some of you where this new energy didn't take off right away this new energy is trying to come back here for you there's this relationship that's coming towards you man i can't make this up so you got a past person that is trying to figure out how to reconcile because this new energy is showing and in, showing up into your life so You've got a healthy connection making room for you in your life. You need to trust your intuition with anybody that comes towards you. Trusting your intuition when it comes to this past person coming back. They're still playing games. And then trusting your intuition with this new energy coming towards you. Especially if you have more than one option interested in you. Make sure that you're always using your discernment here. And there's that energy of learning to surrender. Making peace. Being at flow with the universe. And just letting go and just no longer resisting change and just letting welcoming change, doing everything you can to make change. And then just being, like I said, just being at one with the universe and just letting everything come into your life right when it's meant to. So a lot of you guys had to learn to, to let go of control and just learn to release Capricorn. You're calling in your soul tribe, your, your soulmate. You're attracting the right people. And there's something about healthy new soul contracts making room in your life for you. And this even has to do with finances because I'm picking up on somebody's career path. Like there's, there's uh, some significant changes when it comes to your career path and your money matters here. But it's for the better. Tell me more. So the past person 
wants you to battle with them. Don't do that. This past person, wherever your past person's going, they're running into arguments. It's the same thing over and over because they're making no changes. So don't be battling with your past person because they will lower your frequency. You're, man, this past person's worst nightmare, this confident, this, this radiant energy. And remember earlier when I was telling you about how you're glowing? That's the glowing that I'm talking about that you're having. Like, man, successful, enthusiastic, optimism, fulfillment. That's what you have coming towards you because you are operating in this energy. You see how that works? This new person views you as radiant. Like they like what they see, this new energy. There's something about your light that just attracts people towards you. So always use your discernment. The past wanted to go around and chase these this lust. And there's definitely some lustful eyes watching you. I keep getting that. Some of you have more than one person interested in you. And you are drawing lustful eyes towards you. Now, yes, this new energy coming towards you that wants something solid with you, man, they, they're very passionate. Like the energy between you two is very magnetic. There's something here about no longer holding on to hurt from past relationships. There was a guarded energy that you still could be in, or that's why this new energy didn't work out um, at a certain time because there was guarded energy that you and this new energy had to lay to rest here. So if you're still operating out of that guarded energy, learn to lower that guard down and let that love in. That's also part of your growth. Tell me more. This past person expects you to keep having some kind of ongoing battle with them. Don't, don't lower your frequency for this person. Tell me more. And there's some communication coming in. Some clarity. Now, this is coming from your past energy and these this new energy I'm picking up on. So you've just got some communication coming towards you. And there's something about somebody's financial path I keep getting. There's some kind of communication about finances for someone. So that's definitely for someone. So your past person's going to try to reach out to you however they can. And then, like I said, you've just got energies wanting to, like, message you. Rolling the dice. The dice. <laughs> Rolling the dice. So this past person wanted to play some games. They're still being risky. They're still they're still playing. They ain't changed. And you've just got energies coming towards you that are just ready to risk. Especially this one new energy I'm picking up on. Like they really want to like, they want to come towards you. Like this new person's just been like quietly observing you. And now they're ready like to come fully into your life. Tell me more. <clears throat> You're the lighting the way here. Beautiful. You set an example by just doing what you're doing with your life here. So you make a lot of impact on people, whether you realize that or not. So you're the light of someone's life here. Something about setting firm boundaries with this past energy. And you are a beacon of light. And you have people noticing this, especially this one new person I'm picking up on. So your past is very materialistic, very greedy. They, they're an opportunist. They... They like to like use people because they gain something out of it. And now your past person sees you on the come up, especially when it comes to your finances. They see in this. So this is like a very possessive energy that is trying to get back into your life again with this past person. They're very selfish. This past person couldn't um, said that you were all these things, but that's who they are. That's a projection. Tell me more. Somebody's mad that they couldn't run over your finances. Like the past is mad because they couldn't, like if you had some kind of like financial restrictions when you dealt with this past person, oh, they pissed off because you have been flourishing that much more since you guys had a disconnect. And they're mad because your finances are looking beautiful while theirs is on the, the going down. They're going downhill. Let me get more. So no longer clinging to unhealthy relationships. This is no longer carrying around the baggage or burdens of any connection that you have in your life. This is like laying all that to rest so it doesn't interrupt your, your present, your current here. So this past person has got more burdens that they've added to their life since you guys had a disconnect. So just keep that in mind. Including children. I keep getting children. Let me get another one. Somebody's seeing the truth. The truth is being exposed about how your past person was the one in the wrong the whole time. And just something about you, you are the truth. And the, the clarity is coming out. And there's some kind of truth coming towards you. 
um, when it comes to love. And then something about finances I keep getting. You make people shift their perspective. So there's something about you and, and how you operate, what you believe in, your views. Like you just make people think out, out of the box. Like you challenge people to really step it up a notch. Like, man, okay. Nothing good will come out of this past person. If you entertain the past, they're still doing the same thing. The past is definitely not worth waiting for. The past thought you was going to wait for them, and you clearly are not. That's why they're upset. The past has been making unhealthy choices. So, and you've been focusing on better things for yourself. You could be um, focusing something about mental health for someone here, and just really focusing on your temple, and really nourishing your finances as well. Like, you're making better choices in all areas of your life, while this past person is still doing the same thing. The past wanted you to be open and available to them with no restrictions. And this is how your past person likes people to be. Like they just want people to be easily accessible to them. And you're not letting them treat you that way anymore. That's good. So this there's something about your energy that just is like drawing lustful eyes towards you. I keep wanting to tell you that. So make sure that you're not transferring that energy with just anybody. But like I said, there is one person here in particular that I'm picking up on that wants a solid commitment with you. So this is like being vulnerable, people coming towards you wanting to be vulnerable. And this is these new connections that you're, you're shaping into your life. You are now shaping your reality. You're really focusing on what you want with your life and you're drawing it towards you. So beautiful. And then you've got this past person that is operating out of these negative emotions Anger, resentment, frustration, annoyed. So your past person feels wrong because they're being outed for who they are while you're on the come up. And you got love coming towards you, so of course the past is going to be mad. Let them figure out their own things. You had to go through these negative emotions as well. We all have these within us. So you have been learning to release anger, resentment, frustration, annoyance, because all that does is lower your frequency. So don't let somebody put you in this low vibing energy because... You'll be like the past, so don't let them do that. And man, I'm telling you, somebody's pissed off because balance is being restored in your life. You have love, your finances, everything's on the come up, and somebody just doesn't feel like something's fair. Oh, well, some of you guys could have some kind of like divorce with this past person. There's just something here about legalities that you could be um, like final chapters being closed when it comes to like a divorce or just some legal issues. Somebody's pissed off because you're winning. Everything is like going in your favor. And somebody's upset about it. <clears throat> Capricorn. So you could be planning on traveling. Some of you guys could just want to travel for work. You definitely got some energies traveling towards you. So definitely one in particular that's interested in you. This person could be at a distance from you. Your past person is not doing well. Some of you guys could have went through something like something about like material loss when you dealt with this past person. Like your past person could be losing a car like they're losing some kind of like monetary material things. And somebody's been trying to dig up some dirt on you now. See this past person's upset because they feel like you're you're like you're digging up something about them but you're not even doing that. Like you're just living your life you're getting better so that's the truth right there when we start living our lives better and your past is still doing the same thing there's the truth right there so I feel like that's what the past is upset about because you're digging up stuff on them and you're not even trying to the past wants to try to go hard and dig up some dirt on you especially with the way you're living your life now it's like the past is trying to like keep you stuck in the past with them don't let them do that to you like they're just mad and upset because you're you're doing better. Tell me more. Somebody tried to use some kind of scarcity tactics on you. That's this past energy. Like they've been trying to do everything in their power to keep you like like they want ooh, I just heard submit. Like they want you to submit to what they were doing to you and just continue to tolerate that that behavior. No, that we ain't doing that. So this is like Oh, this is like this past person's like a, a very forceful energy that like is mad that they can't they can't get you to like stay stuck in that 
low vibing energy with them anymore. They don't, oh well, tell me more. So this past person thought they was going to be able to just like run away from you and that you were going to be just right there waiting or trying to fix something and you're not. Now you're running away and you're going towards your, your best life and they can't handle it. Tell me more. The past wants you to feel rejected. The past doesn't want you, like the past doesn't want you to have something better when it comes to love. So your past person has like currently plotting and, and like strategizing on how to remove new energies in your life. Like, man, your past person's like, they've got a lot of people around them, like, because they're always dipping and dabbing than anything that'll have them. I said dipping and dabbing. <laughs> so your past person's upset because you are calling healthy love towards you while they're in that low vibing, just lust based connections. They are trying to like, Figure out how to like mess with your love life. Don't let them do that. Tell me more. They, this is what they operate out of. This right here, this ego. We've had ego deaths. We don't operate out of our ego. So this past person is like you're shattering their ego and they can't handle it. This person never thought they was going to be exposed. And boy, are you exposing them. Tell me more. So this is the type of person when you hit them with the truth and facts or you start revealing things about them. Oh, they, they try to hurts you and, and destroy your character that much more. Tell me more. <laughs> it ain't working because you're over here on the come up. You're rising, stepping into your power. You're just praised and looked up to. And that's this past person's worst nightmare. They never thought that you were going to rise up. And boy, have you. You could definitely have children with this past person. This past person could have said that you were neglect, abusive, neglectful, so this past person really worked hard to try to destroy your, your character in all areas of your life. Man. And there's something about children I keep getting with this past person. Like I keep getting pregnancies, children that they've produced with these hookup energies. Tell me more. And an offer coming towards you. I feel the financial offers and this, this love offer coming towards you. And you've got offers. You've got mail. <laughs> Wasting time. So the past will waste your time. And it's like the past is trying to, to make it seem like you're going to make a mistake by moving forward with something better for yourself. So don't let them get in your head because that's another scarcity tactic that your past person likes to use on you. So don't let anybody limit you. Even the ones where you've got more than one option interested in you. Make sure you're seeing people for who they are. And don't let anybody keep you stuck in another cycle. Because if you don't see the red flags with new energies coming towards you, you will repeat another cycle like you did with your past person with a new energy. It'd be like that. That's why it's very important to learn our lessons. So we're, we're always learning and growing. So if we don't see the the um the deception behind people like i said you'll stay stuck in that cycle and you'll keep repeating it over and over again me and another one so this past energy is trying to come towards you with this fake smile man uh-uh the past person's been doing everything in their power to destroy you and it ain't working so this is this energy trying to come towards you with this fakeness i can't stand fake people here they come trying to kiss your butt could be trying to to bring flowers. They, they're just trying to really like love bomb you, we'll say. And this is why they're doing this. Because you're doing this. You're hustling. You're in your money. You're like all about on the come up. And this past person seeing it. And you're over here ignoring. Ignoring anybody that's trying to get in the way of what you're doing with your life. That's good. This is learning to ignore the haters in all areas of our lives. So this past person's upset because there is this positive connection manifesting in your life so it's like the past is going to try to make it seem like you two are meant to be together because this new energy is showing up and this past person wanted you to have a bad reputation and it just isn't working this look see you just remain unfazed you know what you're doing and what you're not doing so when we get on our healing journey we get to a place on our journey where we understand where when people are saying certain things about us it's because it's how they feel about themselves and you're over here remaining unfazed. Like, you could care less. Like, look at that. You're so unbothered. 
beautiful energy to have. That's also part of your growth as well, is just not letting anybody trigger you and get you upset trying to defame your character. Like, you're creating a beautiful life for yourself. Ain't nobody going to be able to take that from you. Capricorn. Somebody tried to cloud your judgment. Someone is still trying to come back and cloud your judgment. Like your past person tried to cloud everybody's judgment about you and it didn't work. So this is a very distorted, unbalanced energy trying to come back for you. Don't let them do that to you. Tell me more. And there's something here about for the ones that's got more than one option, just make sure that you're not letting anybody cloud your judgment. Make sure you're seeing the, the um, authenticity when it comes to people. So the past is trying to get you to open your heart with this cloudy judgment. Don't let them do that. They're trying to like get you to be open to them again, trying to pull on that empathy. A lot of you guys are opening your heart space to something new. That's why this past energy is trying to, to come back into your life. It's like it's almost like a lesson making sure that you've learned. So this was a long journey. You continued, continue keeping faith in yourself, continue with working with your manifestations. When we've been through some battles in our life, everything is going to make us feel exhausted. But you need to look back at your path and see how much progress that you've made where you're at now. Like you, you may have been like feeling depleted and drained, but your energy is on the come up now. You're not letting anybody drain you anymore. So your past person's trying to figure out, they, they want to put you back in another cycle where they can deplete you and drain you again, especially with your finances looking good. Oh, they want in on that. Tell me more. And there's this admirer coming towards you. This is this new energy that is, can no longer resist you. This is this person wanting to, to make an appearance in your life. And this is someone that's loyal. This is a loyal offer. This is somebody that you can trust, rely on, believe. Because you're in this energy and you're attracting that towards you. There's definitely some kind of influences that have been trying to... to Get in the way of your love life here. So like your past person's been trying to influence others to look at you in a bad light. And it's like your past energy is going to try to like influence something when it comes to this new love. I keep getting that. Somebody's realizing something now that you ain't chasing after them. That's just past energy. They thought that you was going to be on a hot pursuit for them. And boy, you're not. You pulled your energy back and stepped into your resilience. And you went through your awakening and you still are going through the motions. So just this past energy knows that they can't keep you where they want you anymore. This past person, look at this, man. This past person thought you was going to just continue chasing after them. And now it's flipping around. Now you're the one running away from them. And now they want to start chasing you down this past energy. Tell me more. Got a masculine energy here. So we've got a masculine energy coming towards you. And for my masculines watching, you could be going towards a feminine here. But there's a masculine energy that's definitely making an appearance here. Tell me more. Okay. So your past person was going around chasing thrills and they're still doing that. They're trying to come back here with some kind of apology. Trying to get your forgiveness here. Because they see you in this energy where you're just like attracting everything that your heart desires towards you. And for the ones where this new energy, if there was some kind of like gossip or something that was got, got in the way of this, this person wants to try to come back and like they want forgiveness too for allowing the um, influences to get in the way of this. But you're the ecstasy, clearly. That's why people are coming towards you. Tell me more. And we got a twin flame connection. Some of you guys could be dealing with your twin flame. Some of you guys have not met your twin flame. This could be this new energy or it could be the energy where... It was something that didn't take off the ground right away. Don't let these titles keep you stuck. For somebody, your, your past person wants to use the twin flame title to keep you stuck. You'll know who your twin flame is. Like I said, don't let the titles keep you stuck. You are your twin flame. It is literally your mirrored soul. So there is some kind of like intimacy, a bond that is meant to take place with this twin flame connection here. You guys mirror each other like you. It is, it, that is the thing. That is your mirrored soul here. So this is what you're attracting towards you here. This intimacy. This 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 bond that you have with someone. Tell me more. There was some kind of fear that was trying to get in the way of this. This this 
connection, this bond that you're meant to have. There's some kind of abandonment issues, codependency issues that you and this new person both had to work on in order to make something come into reality here. Tell me more. Trusting intuition with anybody that comes towards you. Just make sure that you know, like, trust what you are getting. Because there's something about your energy that's very significant. The way that you're able to speak these words. And there's something about your intuition. You're very gifted. So make sure that you're just seeing things for what it is. Hopeless. Your past is hopeless. They, they, they couldn't continue to keep you stuck with these blocked emotions. So... You are no longer sinking and falling apart like the past wanted you to. And now the past is in some kind of heart fog because now it's like they're flipping. It's flipping around on them. They're the ones hopeless. They're hopeless because you're this. You're attracting things towards you. You are in this feminine energy. You've been nurturing yourself. You've been learning to not chase, attract. And boy, are you. If somebody here is upset that you're no longer broken and shattered. They did everything they could to try to destroy you. And you turned your back and walked away and you gave yourself closure. You moved on. And there's definitely some kind of past life energy. There's something about karmic lessons being completed in this lifetime. Some of you guys have a past life connection with a new person coming towards you. And if you dealt with, and if it was this person of your past that's from a past life, this was a karmic lesson that you had to learn in this lifetime. Somebody's tired of holding back how they feel about you. Somebody's ready to come towards you with the truth. That's this new energy I'm picking up on. And then your past person's upset because they tried to like conceal who they were, what they were doing. And all the clarity is now coming out about your past person. Like I said, you've been digging up dirt on the past person and you haven't even been trying to dig up dirt. It's just how you're operating and how you're living your life is exposing your past person. So that's karma for them as well. Let me get a shadow work card for Capricorn. Shadow work. What do we need to do? Soul mirrors. Mm -hmm. Others reflect your own relationships with yourself. Open heart, healing, and union. So that is true. The people that you have around you are a reflection of who you are. So it's almost like your past person is realizing what they're around is... Nothing but karmic energy. Like they're not happy. A lot of you guys, your past person is a karmic. I keep getting that for some of you. And if you feel like your past person is your twin flame, they got themselves around some karmics. So there's something about your energy that just holds mirrors up to people. You you trigger people, whether you realize that or not. Like you know how to like give them that energy back that they're giving towards you. And then we've got resentment here. It often festers, causing desire for revenge. Let go of the past to find peace, forgiveness, release, serenity. So that is true. We got to learn to let go of resentments because we office, often want to try to seek revenge and that's not the way to do things. So part of your growth is learning to not do that tit for tat with people that try to hurt you. Your past is still operating with resentment. They're, they, they feel like they've got to take revenge on people, your past person. Let me get another one. Addictions. Some of you guys could have suffered from addictions. Somebody's definitely got a sex addiction here for sure. Compulsive need despite negative consequences. Get support and therapy. Healing, liberation, support. So this is what you've been doing. You've been doing things to heal, be liberated. While this past energy is still operating out of addictions, they're, they're still doing the same thing, whatever that is for them. And then we've got arrogance. Not seeing flaws hinders growth. No limits to learn and improve. Humility, awareness, and growth. So this is about seeing our flaws. This is about holding ourselves accountable for the actions that we do. That's how we grow from it. We change things up. The past is still operating out of arrogance. And you've been having inner balance here. What you resist persists. What you accept transforms. Wholeness and duality. So... That's true. This is about you no longer resisting things about yourself because the more that you resist things in your life, the more that it will continue happening. That's why it's changing things up in a whole new dynamic for yourself and having that balance being restored. There's something about balance with your life. That's why something new wasn't able to happen for you. Now it is because balance is being restored. 
I get another one. <clears throat> Embrace the void. Your true potential is waiting to be discovered. Emptiness, creative power. So this is no longer limit, limiting yourself. This is about tapping into your, your true potential, which is this. This magical energy that you have. So this is no longer using things to like fill the void. This is really going within and doing that, that massive healing work so you can tap into your true potential. And that's what I feel like you've been doing. Seductive allure. Instant gratification blinds you to the consequences. Craving promises hidden. And that's this past energy. They want instant gratification here. That's why they still hooking up and doing the most here. And there's something here about you pulling your energy back and learning not to something about not not wanting like instant like wanting like seeing the results of something right away there's something about really pulling your energy back and just practicing that faith and that patience so you're not like just because something isn't working out for you right away it's because something's better is happening for you so there's something about learning to not Want that in instant gratification in areas of your life. And then self-sabotage. Procrastination, negative self-talk, and fear of failure undermine your success. Overcoming resilience. So this is no longer being in procrastination. No more negative self-talk. No more fear of failure. And no more no more undermining your yourself, your life. This is like looking at your life in a whole different way. Um, way that's why that power of the spoken word card came out because you really your words are very powerful and shame and guilt feel them without judgment mistakes do not define your worth compassion acceptance and this is not letting anybody shame you make you feel guilt make try to make you feel bad because you want better with your life so when we are working on ourselves and we're doing better oh we're going to have like karmic energies that try to like make us feel bad because we're we're outgrowing them. We're leaving them behind. So, and there's something about your, your past. Don't let anybody make you feel bad because you did things in the past. Like it was all part of your growth and lessons that needed to be learned. So just look at yourself for how strong and how um, powerful you are to able to, to pull yourself out of darkness and change things up. Like that's a whole nother level of beautiful energy that you have for yourself. So don't let anybody make you feel bad because I feel like your past person is still trying to use some like guilt tripping energy to try to keep you stuck with them in like a low vibing cycle. Don't let them do that to you. You definitely have a new energy coming towards you. So don't let this past person try to like mess that up because they're still playing games. They haven't changed. So all right, my beautiful Capricorn, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Wednesday. We'll do it all over again. Appreciate you so much. Light and love to you. See you guys Wednesday.